Hey everybody, long time no see. I got an interesting comment. I, I get questions from you guys all the time, and and everybody kind of knows now. I, I like spicy. Oops, excuse me. I like spicy food, and uh, somebody was asking me what is the spiciest thing that I have eaten, and to be perfectly honest, I haven't had any. Uh, like ration type thing that was uh, real spicy because they have to make them bland so uh, they're more agreeable to most palates. Well I had mentioned in a comment that the one MRE that I wanted to try that I thought that might be a little spicy or tangy and it's a video I actually have uh, I, I posted it, it's a mirror video it's not one that I did but it's one from uh, MRE Japan and he did a review on buffalo chicken. Uh, buffalo chicken, for those of you in the States, we know that it can be really zesty and real zippy and good and spicy. It all depends on your palate. Or you can have the, just the bland, tangy flavor. But I like like ghost chilies and all that kind of stuff. Well, I had a great guy named Matt uh, get in touch with me. He said, hey, I think my buddy might have something like this. And his friend Mike actually did have uh, some stuff. This is what he sent me. All kinds of stuff. I wasn't really expecting uh, like a bag like this, but ta-da! Buffalo chicken. What is it? Buffalo pulled buffalo style sauce. All right. I was kind of uh, bummed out that the military went away from this menu. So at least now I will get the opportunity to try it. And he also sent me uh, some other stuff. There's uh, some refried beans that would probably go with that. And what is this? What else do we have on here? Uh, what is this? Mexican style macaroni and cheese. I've always been kind of partial to this. So that is great. That is outstanding. So I get to try this, but I happened to look online and I was able to find this as well. The complete Buffalo Chicken MRE. So I'm kind of in a conundrum. This got here first, and then this showed up. I knew that Matt was sending this, so I think probably what I'm going to do is I will do a contents of this, but I am going to use this particular entree. And uh, who knows, maybe try all this stuff too. So, uh, yeah, well, let's get started. Okay, let's look at everything that uh, Matt sent me. Let's crack it out of this. You can tell this was like uh, packaged by Ameriqual. You can always tell Ameriqual because when they've got this bag, they put this inner bag in it, at least for these earlier rations. And these were packaged or produced in right at the end of 2009, if you look at that date code right there. So... Yep, so what do we got? We've got, of course, the entree, MRE spoon, got a heater, hot beverage bag, cheese with jalapenos. This guy, man, Matt, you are the man, you and Mike. Uh, an accessory packet, and this looks like this is the, I don't know, I'm thinking the, the cider stuff, yep, spoon. Spiced cider, moist towelette, gum is looking a little yellow, but hey, what can you do? Salt, two salts, well that's different. Usually get like a sugar and a salt, and of course uh, TP. What do we have here? Some wheat snack bread, of course the refried beans, and the Mexican style macaroni and cheese. So. Now let's check out what we get inside of the actual MRE. Okay, this was shipped in like a uh, a soft container, a soft bag, not in the box. 
so when I cut it open I got a little too uh, overzealous and put a slit in there so hopefully that won't affect uh, the problem. You can see the date code is stamped on there sort of, kind of. Does it have a date code anywhere else on the bag? I don't see one except whatever that is right there. We'll try the peelable seal and see if that little slit affects us at all. Nope, no problems. Yeah. All right, got everything out of that bag. Again, my favorite cheese with jalapenos in it. Got a package of tortillas. And again, looks like a 2011 is the date on this. The 62nd day, so that would be, well, it'd be March. This is the smallest accessory pack I have ever seen, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Standard uh, flameless ration heater. Hot beverage bag. The MRE spoon. Mocha Cappuccino Instant Powder. This stuff is actually pretty good. Now, when I watched MRE Japan's video, he had these patriotic cookies. So, these are pretty interesting. Uh, I watch his video all the time, so that's kind of why I, uh, I did a mirror. He took all his videos down for some reason. He said... Uh, I don't know if he got like an argument with somebody or somebody, you know, pissed him off or something, but he took all his vids down. So I put the ones that I could find kind of back up. I know you're really kind of not supposed to do that, but I really enjoyed his videos and a lot of other people did. So, you know, forgive me, bro. Do more vids, MRE Japan. Put your stuff back up. You were really good. So he has some turkey snacks. Probably, uh, I don't know. And then again, we have the chicken pulled with buffalo style sauce. Can't tell you. I, I like buff. I, I like this stuff. So this is going to be really good. And then Santa Fe rice and beans. And this stuff is really runny too. So I don't really see how how you could put it in tortillas unless you put a little bit of the the rice and beans in there and but rice and beans don't really go too well with uh, well what the hell what, what are you gonna do so okay well that is the contents uh, menu number 24 uh, forgot to open this up for you guys like I said this is like really thin really small so and it does not want to give up its contents I guess it's embarrassed so we have some lemonade base beverage powder again some salt TP moist towelette and some more gum so not a lot of stuff in that is it okay uh, let's get this uh, heated up we're going to use the one that uh, Matt sent Maybe if we can open up the box. So, the one that I saw in uh, in MRE Japan's video, it had a different type of packaging on it. So if you would like to see what I'm talking about, you can uh, look back earlier in my channel and find his video. Or you can just type in MRE Japan and... Uh, buffalo chicken that'll pop up so we've got that and uh, the Santa Fe style rice we've got that from the actual MRE but I gotta be honest I don't really uh, I, I had rice er earlier so I think I'm going to opt for for the mac and cheese for some reason that just seems better I know that <clears throat> these aren't the actual components from the MRE, but hey, what can you do? 
so let's rip off the top. Try to open up the bag because sometimes they're stubborn, like this one is definitely being. All right, we'll pop that in there. And what the heck. Uh, you can put both of these in here or you can set one on the other side of the, of the bag. But the kind of the problem that I've been having lately is all of these filaments don't get water if I've been packing both of these in there. So what I'm going to do is just keep the buffalo chicken in here, add my water, and I'll just place this on this side of the pad and uh, cram them back into the box. So, like we say, it takes about an ounce of water, ounce and a half of water. That was seriously a lot more than that, but what are you going to do? Get it over all those filaments. Right, you know what? Seeing how I just wet them all down, we'll just cram this in here anyway. What the heck, right? Pull that over real good. I mean, well, for a heater, four years ago, five years ago, still works pretty darn well. It's already heating up. Cram that in there, and I don't have my rock or something, so there's my cell phone. We'll let that heat up for a little while. And just to let you know as an afterthought, I also crammed those tortillas in there to get them a little uh, warmed up, makes them a little more pliable. While we're waiting for this to heat up right here, uh, we'll take our lemon beverage powder. It might be hard to see this. It calls for 20 fluid ounces of water. And I just happen to have this unbranded... Uh, bottle for a sports drink that happens to be 20 ounces so uh, I figured it might as well just use that seeing how I had it handy so tear is really easy that wasn't a major problem and the directions state pour it in and shake gently I've never heard of that before you usually got to shake these things pretty bloody vigorously to get them to go so the nice thing about this stuff is why you want to have a lot of calories and stuff like that to get you going it's sugar free so or at least it claims it's sugar free so we'll give that a nice shake and see it's a nice lemony color and uh let me grab the tray and okay let's take a look at the turkey snacks i got a feeling they're probably just going to be kind of like turkey uh, I don't know, like turkey beef jerky kind of kind of thing. Okay. I never understand if it's already in a package. Why do you have to repackage it? Um, but I don't know. This is a, it says a Bulls brand turkey. I'm just glad they're not like Bulls balls. And for these little pull tabs, they're designed to be easy to tear, but, man, I guess I would rather have something that my food was preserved in for a long period to be difficult to get out instead of, that almost looks like a dried date or something. Good googly moogly. Well, you get five of those has a pretty nice smell to it. What else do we have? The Patriotic Cookies. So, hmm. Interesting enough, you would think the tear notch should be like at the top, but it's down here in the center. So, alrighty then. As Ace Ventura would say. And from, again, I, I, I'm going to be, uh, Referring to that MRE Japan bit a lot, his were like all crushed to 
Kingdom Come. And these look like they're still in pretty good shape in there. Well, for the most part, anyway, I suppose. Well, maybe they're about the same exact type of casualty rate, but... See, Patriotic, you got Uncle Sam. Just exactly what you want to be eating out in the field when it's raining, when you're wondering why in the world that you enlisted. So, Statue of Liberty. Who do we got on this side? Ah, same lucky lady. So, okay. Little flags. The only thing left is, uh, is the cheese. And, uh, I guess I'll wait until, uh, what the heck is it? Uh, all that other stuff comes popping out. We do have this uh, mocha cappuccino powder. I guess I can make that. And a spoon, of course. So maybe what I will do is I'll go police up some more water and we'll make some of this. Okay, I don't have my measuring cup down here today, but fortunately this has ounce increments on it. So we will pour enough water in here, hopefully, to get six ounces. All right, there we go. Well, that's a little more than six ounces. Dump a little bit of that out. Of course, I didn't share that with you. But, okay, now we have the exact amount of water that we need. <laughs> now the fun part is going to be and transfer the water from this flimsy vessel into this flimsy vessel. I guess I could always pour this stuff out of there, but what fun would that be? It's never fun unless you make a mess, right? Okay, there you see all that. This has this has such a, a nice smell to it. So alright, how are we going to do this? Perhaps we'll hold that like so, maybe. Let me slide this over just a little bit. We'll get creative. We'll do it a little bit at a time. Hold it with our finger. So it's totally doable. But it's much easier if you bring if you bring a measuring cup with you. Alright, we'll seal this up. We'll give this the patented Kiwi Do G Shoal shake. Then we'll just pop that right in this glass so we can get a better look at it. Man. Part of the problem sometimes about cutting all your fingernails off. I know some of you guys complain, man, cut your fingernails, but I can't open these stupid bags. So there we go. It's pretty good to me. Okay, at least in my opinion, it, I think this has been long enough. It's probably been about 10 minutes. Probably could be. Personally, if I was in the field, I would leave it in there as long as possible to make sure that this stuff is heated up. These heated up real well. They should be nice and pliable, those tortillas. Get these out of here. That's the only problem. These Some of these heaters have a really, really noxious smell to them. And some of them not quite so much, but this one is definitely putting out that putting out that odor not super hot so I'm not really convinced that that heater was a uh, hundred percent working but when you're in the field you got to uh, make do with what you got so this is the pulled buffalo chicken oh it's got that really nice buffalo chicken smell in color and this one is uh, it looks to be a lot 
thicker than uh, the one that I saw, again, referring to MRE Japan, to his bed. Mexican macaroni and cheese. <laughs> hey, it more like looks like macaroni and paste. So, okay. Yeah, that probably definitely could have been uh, heated up a little more. But you can actually see the little pieces of macaroni in there and the little peppers and all that yummy goodness. I think they thought that this was spicy enough so it didn't need like Tabasco or anything, but you all know me. As far as I'm concerned, everything could probably use Tabasco. Well, it probably wouldn't taste good on Captain Crunch, but, you know, anything like that. And like we said, the benefit of heating up your tortillas is it makes them so much more pliable. See, they didn't immediately break and crack when I opened up the bag. Now, of course, we could use our jalapeno cheese on our tortillas and on this, but what are we going to do? Let's put it on this, just so we can say that we did. We'll give it a little knead because it's been sitting in there for a couple of years, or as we would refer, a hot minute. Corner off. This is always good if you heat it up as well. Mix, uh, trying to mix it a whole lot easier. But I just, and this stuff isn't really spicy either, but it just gives you that, that little, I don't know, little zing or whatever. So, okay. get a close-up of this really quick. You can see that. I don't think there's a whole lot in there. Probably just shredded chicken and and then buffalo sauce. So that macaroni and cheese looks good. I just wish that heater would have heated up a little more. So all right. These are some generous chunks of chicken in here too. You know, I'm glad that I asked about this. You can, it's, it's really bland, 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 buffalo style sauce. At the end, you can kind of get a little sort of heat, maybe, maybe. So, I was expecting man a nice little kick this definitely could use Tabasco or some uh, red pepper flake if you like heat so we'll try some of the macaroni Mexican macaroni and cheese it's not super cheesy Not at all. Not real cheesy. So far, man, I'm almost kind of... I, I know that I didn't eat everything that was supposed to be like an original MRE. So, this is probably not a fair comparison. But we'll try a little bit with uh, the jalapeno cheese on there. That makes the difference. You put this and you mix that in there, you'll be okay. It's like they overcooked uh, the devil out of these poor little macaroni pastas. They just kind of just crumble in your mouth. They don't really have much to give to them. Try one of these turkey bowl. Well, I almost said bowl balls. That would have been totally wrong. One of these turkey bite things. That's not too bad. And then, of course, we've got all of these patriotic cookies. They're probably just little sugar cookies or like animal crackers, that kind of thing.
Yep, same kind of flavor. All right, well, let's take one of these tortillas and we'll put some of this in here. I've never had buffalo style chicken. Well, yeah, I have in a tortilla, and you can buy them at like kind of like the grocery store, kind of pre made. Maybe this will, maybe that'll make a change. Roll it up a little bit. That's part of the benefit. You got to eat these while they're while they are still heated up, because then that seam starts to split on the back. And uh, well, what the heck? Let's put some of all of this on this one. Who knows? Maybe this will be the combination. And as kind of an experiment, the seam runs this way, so we'll see if that will help this thing not to split. Wow, that's a lot of stuff in there. Oops. Well, we can see kind of a fail already. So let's uh, try that. Mmm. I think that's the way to go. Put all the kids in the pool. As it were. Let's try some of our lemon beverage powder. That is good. I actually really enjoy that. And this might not be the best thing to drink right after I've got like essentially lemonade in my mouth. But let's try this uh, mocha cappuccino instant powder. It pretty much just tastes like a chocolate milk with a little bit of coffee sort of flavor. Well, everybody, this was a uh, kind of a combination review of uh, an MRE slash components that Matt and Mike sent to me from uh, the great state of Florida. So, buffalo chicken. Spiciest thing I've eaten? Not by a long shot. Uh, my opinion, I didn't live up to the hype. I heard so many people, it's spicy, it's spicy, it's really hot. Well, if you like spicy food, you won't even bat an eye at that stuff. So, uh, alright everybody, thanks for watching. Bye.